If only ever broke my wrist. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the only fracture. Yeah. Okay. And what's your chief complaint then? What would say your biggest complaint would be? I'm a huge self adjuster. Uh oh. Like multiple times a day. Oh no. Like everything. Oh. Huh? The everything. ones that I can't get, we'll let you get. And then sometimes if I wake up and I've been laying on my shoulder, I'll like get like a huge like deep pop, and I'm like, yes, I need that. But then most of the time it's just crunchy, and it bothers me because I just want like a, just want to like pop it, break it. Your both of your shoulders are rounded forward. Yeah. Now you play? Do you play guitar? I like piano what? more. Piano, okay. Yeah. So I always have to fix my posture because it's you're, yeah, you're rounded and forward, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You gotta get this chest out there. Mm-hmm. See, that's a very slight difference. My head, come back. Bring your head back. I just have bad posture all the time. If I'm on my computer, if I'm sitting, it's it's never. Well, you gotta think about taking this out. Do you ever take dance? I did when I was little. Yeah. So it's more of the chest out, like a line is coming out. And in ballet, it's just like a lot, like a string is you're being pulled at the top, right? Like they say like for breathing right. with vocals, like. Yeah. So are you mostly then singing? Then? Yeah, that's literally mostly yeah. Okay. So you learned about breath control yeah. and how to yeah. breathe. Mm-hmm. Okay, so show me how you would take a deep breath before you would. Yeah. So do it again. Breathe. Yes. You, you see, you want all of this. You want to feel stretch here. Yeah. Okay, and that protects your diaphragm. Yeah, when you hit those notes loud, trust me, it's reverberating everywhere. People don't realize how much power goes into singing. Are you singing really loud? Sometimes, Sometimes yeah. like yeah. you're hitting Singing high notes. Body. When you hit those notes with that much force, mm-hmm. you, my spine would pop <laughs> when I would do that because I sang opera and I would get really <laughs> yeah. Then you're just saying mostly neck pain, or I was looking at your what you wrote I down. I mean, my back just gets tired because of how I stand, so then it gets like sore, so then I crack it. <laughs> so then I crack it. Crack it. <laughs> just crack it. All right, all right. On your back, face up. I did see your posture. You have this. The leg that kind of comes in your knee. Okay, see, and as you lay down, this foot flares out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, when you were walking, you also had a left foot flare. So you've been adjusted. Okay, but not up here. Yeah. It was really fast. It's just like quick and. You got a right atlas. What does that mean? Uh, okay, so are you more sore here? Yep. How about poke here? Not uh-huh. as much, right? Not as much, yeah. Same vertebral, vertebral level, okay? There's a joint right here. Left. Here's the compensation. All yeah. in there. Yep. It's definitely more tender over This there. is very classic. It's okay. Neck is nothing unusual so far. Ooh. Ooh la la. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I distract you guys while I work on you. So I, you I can say, feel your face. <laughs> why did you say that that uh, part right, was sore? It's swollen because it's translated laterally. <laughs> what does it mean? It's sticking out on the right. <laughs> so fluid. It's like a curve and like a river bend. Mm-hmm. Okay. It builds up sludge on yeah. the bend. Mm-hmm. This is the bend. It just leaks fluid. And edema into that into the surrounding tissue which increases inflammation increased pain i'm squeezing the fluid out <laughs> Is that and then not like those lymphatic drainage massages or whatever? yeah that's but i'm giving it direction at the same time because i'm going to adjust this joint right here underneath my finger and i want it to go <laughs> i don't yeah. want it to just go uh, and hit a wall a, a wall of fluid that i can't get around where does the fluid go? Drains into your lymphatic system. That's so interesting. It takes about 10 minutes after the adjustment. That's why I go to the toes and the ankles and everything. It's just that you stay still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't move. The goal is this bone right here. She just jumped off in the bouncy thing into the balls or whatever it was y'all were doing. Hers all stems from had the, the, the truck vein shut down when she was younger. Ow. Well, that'll do it. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like any trauma, I guess, is what I'm saying. No. No. Like, I don't, this is all normal kind of misalignments. Chin back. 
<laughs> Ooh, it popped without me doing anything. Yeah, look at that, it's already gone. All right, and chin back. No, I gotta be like this. Relax, I got you. Right here. All right, that's it, that's all it's gonna go. How did it feel, you all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. If I can get lower, like, <laughs> you gotta do like this really long stance. Look how flexible you are. I got you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Spider-Man pose <laughs> Did you get it on camera? Because <laughs> you're so flexible, I have to go way down here. <laughs> okay, in order to get it. I don't like taking it sideways. Yeah. That doesn't feel good. It's probably how I crack it. I think you're cracking your lower neck on the right. Yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Joints like to be wiggled, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Take it down to the next one. Do the same thing again. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I think you're pop. Yeah, you're popping the right hand side a lot. That's just what it feels like. Your neck feels really good right now. So try if you can give me an hour after yeah, this you're good, you're good. to not mess with it. Okay, <laughs> like not to look down either. If you're on your phone, I need you to be up like this. <laughs> okay, no looking down. I'm gonna be like in the restaurant. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I need you like this, okay? <laughs> because I finally got things to shift to the left, and that took me a little bit. My poor hands. Think of my poor hands. Little. Ooh. No. Okay. So elbows. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Here's the cracking. Adjustments. Save me any. I don't know. A few. A few. Okay. Other side. I feel like this elbow can crack. I got you. A little bit. You crack that finger a lot. The middle. <laughs> the middle one. Yeah. I can crack my fingers like four different ways too. It's disgusting. Show me. I can go, because I do backwards, and then I'll do like... The distal ones? That's okay going that way. Which way? The way you're doing it now. And then I, my thumb's up here. Yeah, that's okay. I don't like it when you take it and you twist it. Twist it? Yeah, don't, don't twist be twisting it? them. Oh, no. Just forwards and backwards is fine. And I pull. And pulling is fine. Yeah. Long axis straight. Just like we were going over in the beginning. When you start twisting, that's why when I adjust your neck, I don't like taking you laterally mm -hmm. and going that way. Anybody can do that. Yeah. This takes skill. <laughs> this way, you know, it's fine. It feels good. But, but when you twist, I've just seen people develop arthritis. Yeah. That's all. I can tell. These, you haven't gotten those in a while. No. But these, you bend them. That first toe has to do it. No. No. Usually do it now. Ow. <laughs> Let me do it. Baby toe. Oh. No. We're not gonna do that today. Oh. Crunchy foot. And when you sprain your ankle, this is a really good thing to have. All right, good. Are they supposed to be crunchy when you pull them? This side's a little looser than this side. Like this side feels a little healthier. No, they're not supposed to be that crepitous feeling. They call it crepitous or joint mice. That <laughs> yeah, but it just means you're putting a lot of weight. Anyway, on the foot, the one foot. Yeah. You want your shoulders done? Let's do the shoulders. Come on, yeah. set up and face that way. So then same. Mm -hmm. See how you get that? Mm -hmm. This side doesn't want to go like that. So then we take it like this. I don't feel any crunching. It's mostly on the right side. I'm gonna relax this hand. No, there's nothing there. Oh, on the front. I wanna reach around, grab onto you. No, I, it feels good to me. It's all you can adjust the, cl the um, clavicle. That's the one I always feel like I want. There's that. Let me pull up, lean away a little bit. Lean away. 
give me some traction. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. I'm not really popping, but it doesn't have to pop. It's a see. Does this pop? See this? Here's the joint. Watch. See how it's separated? Yeah. Didn't pop though. Mm -hmm. So you just have to make sure you separate it. Sometimes they don't give a pop. Face down. Okay, do you mind? I'm no. gonna just move you like that there. <laughs> well, now I feel sideways. That looks pretty good. <laughs> now I check leg lengths. They're pretty even, actually. Really? The left side is a little bit shorter, but not bad. Oh, we got the rest of your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> you do pop. Even the, the metatarsals here. I feel like... I'm like, get it together, body. Let's get some pops in there. Get it together. Why are you acting healthy now? Well, when you, every time a joint pops, a little bit of endorphins are released, and it feels good. So you keep <laughs> wanting that release. Yeah. Remember I adjusted your pelvis? If I push here, it, it, it fixes it further. Uh-huh. Deep breath in. Deep breath in again. All the way up. Baby pop. Again. It's also going to go. Can I get some direction? There. Uh, <laughs> I go right to the elbow. I'm always telling people, I'm like, can you use your elbow? Because I, I like massages. Um, I always want them like the sharp, like. I get in there, pain? Yeah. Well, you came to the right place. Oh. Sometimes I'll say, like, oof -da. You can see me, like, tense up, like. <laughs> <laughs> like that move. That's yeah. actually pretty good. <laughs> Too much? No. I'm just, like, confused why certain places are tender. Make you twitch. <laughs> yeah. That feels good. This Part of this is an education in your own body, <laughs> okay? Because you don't know. You're like, wait, why do some areas hurt and others don't? Yeah, like, that feels good. But if you go down, it's, like. Feels Bad. good, but it's tender. <laughs> yeah. It's life. <laughs> Just sit here and wait for it to let go. I have to remember to keep a curve in my back, curve in my neck. Oh, I feel something. Good. You're like, why am I hurting? <laughs> That's a bunch of scars. Okay, your arms literally attached here okay the scapulas are here yeah okay right here through the rhomboids so when your arms when you're playing piano and your arms are forward this is the center where it gets pulled yeah and it's built up scar tissue why did it build up scar tissue because <laughs> your body's not stupid it felt the strain okay from the shoulders being protracted or rounded forward and it beefed it up it's definitely my posture so that's why I say, I'm like, all of this stuff, the end goal is posture correction. Everybody's like, oh, it looks like it would feel so good. I'm like, not really. <laughs> it doesn't feel that great. It feels like stuff is letting go, stuff is releasing. Breathe. Just keep breathing. <sighs> Remember those diaphragmatic breathing. There you go. And a kick in protest. <laughs> <laughs> I object. <laughs> oh gosh. Ow, 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 I know. You're like that. you're like, wow, this feels great. This looks like it feels great. It's like a massage. Nope, it's like a workout. Can I get it? Am I gonna be scraped? <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> I realize when I lay down that I just like can't relax. I'm always like, mm -hmm. also I realize that when I sleep or when I think I'm relaxing, 
my the lower jaw is pushed forward, just locked oh, there. It's just you, locked there. You carry tension there then. And it's like, I, I think I'm relaxed, and then it's like I move my jaw back, and I'm like, wait. I know. Are you under a lot of stress? I mean, it's... I just feel like I'm a stressed person, <laughs> like most of the time. But not really. A lot of people carry stress in their face, and they don't realize they're doing it. Like they'll wake up and they can't ah, open up their jaw. I know. I always feel like I want to just crack or break my jaw. I didn't adjust your jaw. Could have. How do you adjust jaws? Just crack them. You can crack jaws. Mm-hmm. And if there's a joint that exists in the body. <laughs> I know how to crack it, okay? <laughs> Already. That's why we go to school all of those years to memorize it all and to know what goes around those joints and what is influenced by those joints. Maybe you should just change your careers and become a chiropractor. Yeah. <laughs> then you'll know everything how to adjust your own body. Sorry. <laughs> just kicking. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, something went up there. <laughs> something troweled. It's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Urgh. Okay. Now I gotta go. Oh, alright. Let's go to this side first. Let's take care of the left. Hello. You're not going to like me. You don't like me for this. Oh, uh, no, I don't. All right. <laughs> that side hurts worse than the other side. Mm -hmm. She needs that. <laughs> That's why I started out with the good side. That's why you watched me walk around and do that side first. <laughs> then I grabbed your leg. Ow. Done. <laughs> you can tell it needs to be done, though. Yeah. It's congested. It feels boggy compared to the other side. Okay. Let's yeah, no, it definitely feels like it should be done for, like, hours. It needs to be from the SI joint here on your butt yeah. <laughs> all the way down to the hip. I would come in here with my elbow right up against the SI joint. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know if I like this. But that's how deep it has to be or else it, I'm not doing nothing. Yeah. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> well, that means mm -hmm. I must be doing something. I'm like flexing my butt. <laughs> I can try the roller. God, that's just sore. I know. Now you know why I don't want to be filmed. Okay. <laughs> but you, you're not used to it. So I don't want to like... You don't. You haven't processed it mentally yet, okay? I a, and I know that. I have a pretty good pain tolerance. Yeah, but not when it comes to the butt. <laughs> the butt. Why is the butt so sensitive? <laughs> this side isn't as bad. You understand? Yeah. Here's the SI joint, sacrum. I want these joints to move. Don't you do the little pop thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <Take them. laughs> calves, it's crazy how much calves like hurt, yes. hurt. but then no, like it feels good and then you feel like you I... just walk better after you massage your calves or anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, your, your heel can actually touch the ground. That's why people get plantar fasciitis mm -hmm. because they feel like they're up on their tippy toe. So all you do here is we come in and we relax the calf. Well, that's part of it. The other part of it is this right here. Okay. So because... You think that my knee goes in and my feet fall off my shoes because of the pelvis? Is yes, exactly. We must move on to the bigger issue here. Wait, I don't know how I forgot this, but I was adjusted like less than a year ago. Okay. By a different guy. You wrote it down on your paper. I wrote down a girl. That was like two years ago. Oh. I forgot about this one guy because I only went once because he was annoying. I didn't feel any different. I just okay. felt like it was just like very surface level. And then there's Dr. Mondragon. <laughs> yeah, it's like into my soul. How do ribs get out over there? Because it's it's a crumple. It's a accordion that gets crumpled. I need those to go back in. There, they will. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't started fully.
successfully yet. I take a really long time. <laughs> no, you're good. I was talking to the ribs. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, these are the ones I was rolling on. Remember in the beginning? I, yeah. <laughs> the roller. Yeah, they're... I remember. They're going to want to know what your tattoo says, too. Because <laughs> I, I can't read it upside down. It says, feel the fear and do it anyway. Ooh, crunchy. This is the good side. Start you on the good side. Oh, there's that AC again, man. What can you do? Huh? What can you do? It's hot, right? I feel hot. Are you hot? Cold? No, I'm fine. You're the one doing the work. <laughs> Trust me, this makes my patients sweat. <laughs> so. I feel pretty comfortable. Here we go, breathe. <gasps> Come on, ribs. <clears throat> Other side. This is the bad side. You're gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah, well. Did you tell? <laughs> you could be sore. I love when I like don't do anything and then I wake up sore. But at least now I'll know why. Cause you know when you like I don't do anything and then I'm like, well I didn't work out. I don't. But I popped my neck a bunch of times. Yeah. The number one question, the scraping, what it does is when I use my elbow in here, right? That's about three to six inches. No, I don't go about six inches. I only go maybe about three inches down into the tissue. But scar tissue has built up on the surface. The first few centimeters here, and I can feel it over her ribs right here. And I know she feels it too. Look, I'm just poking her here, and I can just feel the scar tissue. So as these ribs lift up, it creates strain on the fascia, and then scar... If you leave it like that and don't have somebody to pop it back down, <clears throat> they stay flared up like this. Or if you don't use, do exercises to push them in, they're flared and the body's like, oh my God, there's all this space here. And it feels the tear and it puts in glue. That's what this does. This scrapes that glue down because I want it to go this way, <laughs> okay? And they're popped up this way and now they're scarred. So I'm going to that first superficial layer, right right on the top. Like I'm only going about maybe a seven meter down in there. And I can't do that with my, with my hand. <laughs> it's like, how am I gonna, I can't do it, you know? Even if I push on it here, I'm still too deep. Not as bad. <laughs> you're, cute. you're going to do the scraping, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Here we go. Bring this arm like out to the side here. Let's see if I can pull that. Ooh, so much petechiae there. Wah! So much crunchy. All right, tuck your chin for me. Like, the, uh, other way. That's it. Uh -huh. Ooh. That feels good. Get that crap out of there. Like, if I did this to you a week from now, none of this would come out. Yeah. None of it comes out the second time. Ugh, there we go. Woo! Lovely hickey on your back now. <laughs> I gotta stop on that side. Tuck your chin again. Going deep. There we go. Side posture. Coming up. Mm -hmm. I'll start fiddling with her. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. You're not gonna fall. I got you. You're not gonna fall off the table. Relax your upper body. That's it. Nope, that's it. It's all gonna go. Other side. It's pretty jammed over there. Let's unlock it. We just it's jammed. I gotta go the other way. It doesn't want to go the way I want it to go, so we gotta open it first. 
body goes back, your whole body goes back this way. Yeah. There it is. Now we got it. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> we got the other side. Bend both of your knees, you're gonna stay there. Ooh, the thingy thing. The thingy thing. <laughs> Push out. Two. More. Give it all you got. And relax. And squeeze. As hard as you can. A little bit. <laughs> no, we gotta do this side. You gotta get them all. All right. Yeah. Push it. There. A little bit harder as much as you can. Part of squeezing your hands. Nah, go for it. That's it. Very good. Your alignment. Oh, yeah, your ears. Okay, come on and sit up. I've seen people like make weird faces with the ears, so I just kind of want to get, get that over with. I wanted, to see, I wanted to see like why everybody always makes like the weirdest it faces. It doesn't hurt, it just feels odd. No, I don't, I don't think it hurts, but we can never pick it up. Yeah. I'll probably hear it. Yeah, you'll hear it just <laughs> fine. <laughs> Someone pulling your earrings, so I'm going to go. Yeah, here. Good up here, though, where I'm not going on the earlobe. I don't have a good grip. There it is. You know, wait for me. More. Ooh. There's nothing there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Uh, more, more. Ooh. That was there. So what's going on with the jaw? I just like whenever I think I'm relaxing or I'm sleeping, it's always like hard. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, oh, and I'll pull it back. It's very weird. It started like maybe a couple months ago. Relax though. Well, you're singing a lot, you know, ah, 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 you know, all of that. So your jaw is, so maybe you're doing it to take some tension probably off of your neck and off of your face, you know, for being out like that. There's part of it. Good. Relax. That's it. That's all that's gonna go. Relax though. It's a little stuck there. There we go. <laughs> Very good. Is he sore? Yeah. Nothing catching. See, open up for me and close. Open. Close. A little bit more strain on the right. Yeah, no, it's just like tense and a little sore, but. Right, so when I do the ear up into here, the jaw, like clench, clench your jaw, clench let your teeth go like this. You'll feel it pop out right here. Now relax, yeah. it, relax it and tighten it, relax it and tighten it. You mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. The ear, what we just released was all of this tissue, <laughs> okay? That's why I feel like that was so powerful, it's never been released. Yeah, and then it goes up into here, yeah, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> Usually, you, know, you come back and we would do another set. Yeah. And we do another release on your scalp. That feels good. Do they have like scapular, that's how they have like scapular massages and stuff like that. This is cranial work, we call it. Cranium. <sighs> All right, come on up, see how you feel. We're gonna do some stretches. Can I do a neck one more time? Oh, the neck. Oh my god. Just get it all in there. Okay. It probably doesn't even have to go. I'm just psycho. You feel like it has to pop? There's nothing there. No, it's closed. This side, maybe. <laughs> wow. You were right. <laughs> I don't know. Always oh, listen to your patient. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go like that. <laughs> I thought it just needed a little... <laughs> I think you're cracking the right hand side. Like this way or that way? No, you're going to the left. Yes. Yeah. And you're popping it. Yeah, and the left hand side is compressed and opening it up like that is what you needed. All right, now how does it feel? This feel what did I miss anything? No, no. Wow. <laughs> She's like tested it. What? Oh. <laughs>